Welcome to the African Union, UNAIDS, and the H6 Partnership. We are gathered here to coordinate our efforts among the African Union and the United Nations to plan and intervene so that people's rights are protected, HIV is prevented, and the right to health is promoted. More than two billion people live in countries affected by fragility, conflict, and violence. Two billion people whose daily life is marked by uncertainty and upheaval. We all know that, unfortunately, most of those people are uh, women and girls. So if we care about addressing root causes of deprivation, oppression, uh, issues of abuse, this is the heart of the matter. You want to change the world, you want to do something for 50% of the world's population, mostly in developing countries, conflict-afflicted settings, you choose women and girls. They're the multiplier, they're the game changers. In South Sudan, about 52% of our young sisters are married before their 18th birthday. It is our bodies, our lives, and our futures at stake. We have the right to the best possible health care available in any circumstances, humanitarian or not. I urge our leaders here today not to remain loudly quiet. Violence, rape, assault against women and young girls and boys is worldwide and can be likened to a weapon of mass destruction. We are here to do more against all forms of discrimination and crimes committed against women. We now understand that armed conflict creates conditions that allow HIV AIDS to flourish, including rampant rape, gang rape, sexual slavery, forced prostitution, forced pregnancy, trafficking and exploitation, in environments where rule of law and public health institutions may have virtually collapsed. So it's not just about silencing the guns, it's about recognizing that women and children have a right to life, have a right to a dignified life, and above all, that they also have a right to peace. It is not a matter of simply resources. It is a matter of having the policies, the protection, and then the enforcement of those laws to have justice for the girls and the children. When we reflect now that 60% of the continent is under 20, there has never been a more important time for the thread of development to run right through the protection of girls and young women. We have now a number of female peacekeepers who are deployed in order to facilitate the conversation, particularly the sensitivity around of the, uh, when we have sexual and gender-based violence and we also have rape. To show that even in the most difficult settings, there is a space, a space for humanity. And we do that through care, through support, through inclusion, through protection and through accompaniment of people in their journey to recover dignity and to recover. As we continue, working towards eliminating sexual and gender-based violence and protecting the health and the rights of women and children in humanitarian setting, we believe that the partnership between the African Union and the United Nations provides for an opportunity to reinforce each other and employ joint and comprehensive approaches in responding to the needs of vulnerable populations in crisis situations. We have cried out to the international community for help in regard to HIV testing and prevention. And we implore you to maintain the priority of peace and stability so that we have a long-lasting solution. We commend this African Union and UNAIDS initiative.